Russia has begun to decommission old T-34 tanks from the 1940s, likely to use them in the war against Ukraine. This is a desperate move that shows the Russian armed forces acute shortage of armored vehicles. Footage of the T-34 was published by Ascent expert Intelskyzo on the social network X. The published video showed not only T-34s, but also IS-3 tanks and ISU-152 artillery units. All of this equipment was produced in the early 1940s for participation in World War Intelskyzo was able to identify the location where the video was filmed. It is the 392nd Training Center of the Russian Armed Forces in Khabarovsk. The arrival of DPRK troops was previously spotted there. While the Soviet rarity is currently at the proving ground, we should expect it to arrive at the front soon. The Russian occupation army is suffering huge losses, including in armored vehicles. Experts say there is an acute shortage of them at the front. It should be noted that the T-34 is a legendary Soviet tank from World War II. It was one of the most widely produced and successful tanks of that time. However, it is catastrophically outdated and is unlikely to be as successful on the battlefield as before. It has weak armor, poor firepower, and communication problems. In addition, the T-34 crew has significantly less chance of survival in the event of a fire strike than more modern tanks. Russia is forced to transfer military equipment to Ukraine that has been obsolete for several decades. The Russian army is almost completely destroyed. Soviet-era arms storage bases are one of the primary sources that still allow the Russian armed forces to fight despite massive losses on the battlefield. Russia has been removing supplies of tanks, armored vehicles, and artillery from these storage bases since 2022. The arms produced in the 1940s, 1960s, many of which were decommissioned many years or decades ago, have returned to the battlefield. The stored arms are also massively cannibalized for spare parts, which Russian arms factories and hundreds of field arms repair facilities utilize. These storage bases are not endless despite Russia keeping thousands of tanks and howitzers after 1991. Moreover, Russia cannot replenish these arms and material. If Ukraine can maintain a high level of combat intensity and the mounting level of Russian losses continues in 2024, it will be much harder for the Russian army to maintain its military power for offensive operations in 2025. That means the conventional Russian military threat to states other than Ukraine will become much more limited. Russian state TV released footage Saturday of what they said were Russian sappers searching for and detonating mines in the Kursk region. According to the video story the sappers worked on the territory from where Ukrainian forces have retreated. In Russia, Air Defense brought down 17 Ukrainian drones over four regions near the border, the Defense Ministry in Moscow reported Saturday. Also according to the Russian Defense Ministry, Moscow's troops have continued eking out battlefield gains in Ukraine's industrial east, capturing the hamlet of Oleksandropil in the Donetsk region. Russia has been conducting a ferocious months-long campaign along the eastern front in Ukraine, gradually compelling Kiev to surrender ground, but Russian forces have struggled to push Ukrainian forces out of its Kursk border region, following an incursion almost three months ago. Чаще всего это кассетные боеприпасы, типа ПФН, типа колокольчиков. Желательно ликвидировать такие боеприпасы на месте, но его возможно и обезвредить. Чаще всего они без самоликвидатора лежат на замаскированной в траве. Три. Вот вчера в середине мы там все прошли. Основная задача наша – это обезопасить освобожденные территории как бы для мирного населения. То есть мы идем, да, мы следуем, мы идем следом за штурмовыми подразделениями, обезрежем те, те подарки, те сюрпризы, которые нам оставил враг.
эту ямку ложит мину ловушку. Также ее взводит и на, и на эту мину ловушку накладывается еще одна э, мина. В случае, если поднять эту поменку, грубо говоря, то сработает мина ловушка и получается двойной заряд. Ну, то есть двойной ущерб, двойной вещи человеку. Поэтому все мины уничтожаются на месте накладным зарядом. China provides Russia only with economic aid and does not directly help in the war against Ukraine. And it is unlikely that this approach will change in the near future, even after North Korea sent troops to Russia. This opinion was expressed to 24 Canal by military expert founder of the Reactive Mail charity organization Pavel Narozny. He noted that China would most likely not send its troops to war in Ukraine as there are a number of factors that make this unlikely. First of all, this is due to the lack of economic motivation in China. China is one of the driving forces of the world economy and the DPRK famine is a standard situation. Perhaps the greatest motivation for North Koreans to go to war is the idea that Putin will pay for it somehow, either with money or goods. China is not interested in financial motivation, he explained. According to him, such a move would be quite risky for China, which is still trying to maintain a neutral position and geopolitical influence. He also explained that if Chinese troops were sent to fight in Ukraine, China would be subject to sanctions from Europe and the United States, which are its largest trading partners. I don't see any drivers for China to send its regular army to help Russia. Some mercenaries from China in Russia, that's unlikely, Narozny added. He also noted that North Korea is interested not only in financial gain, but also in combat experience. For China, this is not so important. The Chinese do not fight with troops. Their expansion occurs through loans. For example, they received a strategic port in Venezuela thanks to loans. War is too expensive for China, he explained. Recall recently Ukrainian intelligence reported the appearance of the first North Korean servicemen in the Kursk region where battles with Russian troops are underway. At the same time as foreign policy wrote, the deployment of North Korean army troops to Russia's war against Ukraine worries China. China has tried to offer rhetorical and to some extent material support to Russia without damaging its ties to the West. North Korea's actions certainly cross that line. The article says, 